I will. OK, but now I want your calls on whether you think... This one will rile you up as well. Prince William yeah. should say sorry yeah, to Prince know. Harry. Well, According to the Mirror, <laughs> the Duke of Sussex is apparently open to uh, taking up a, a sort of temporary role within the royal family if the king asked him to do so. But he will only do it if he gets an apology from his brother. Now, it was reported at the weekend that Harry has been contacting former advisers about a possible return to the UK. We've since heard that he is... A, not actually interested in moving back here, but would consider helping out the family, uh, given the King and the Princess of Wales um, have had uh, to step back for a little while due to health. What do you think? Should William just hold his breath and apologise? Absolutely not. And he won't. Not as long as there's breath in his body, he won't do it. Harry is the, has become the most ridiculous creature. He's the one who's contacted aid to come back into this country. And yet, he, you know, and, and the royal family don't want him back, but he's the one who's, connect, who's contacted people. And he's, t he's talking about conditions. You know, he's making conditions for something the rest of the royal family don't want. And he's asking for... Do you think they don't want it? Do you think the royal... No, I, he, think, he, I think the royal family could use Harry, couldn't they? I th no. No, why would we want him now? You know, this is the guy. You know, when he left five years ago, he asked for a, a half in, half out job, and that's exactly what he's asking for now. The Queen said loud and clearly back then, you couldn't be half in and half out. What he's saying now is he wants exactly the same thing. He wants to do some minor duties, but still have his life over in America. Okay. It's not going to work. All right, sorry, Shay, we're okay. going to have to take a quick break, but don't <laughs> go anywhere because say. I do want to <laughs> hear from you say. right now. <laughs> <gonna go. laughs> we want to also hear what you at home have to, to say about this story as well. Should Prince William say sorry to Prince Harry? Jonathan on Facebook, we've got a few messages coming in here has uh, says apologize for what exactly Prince William didn't write a book or constantly give interviews about family matters well do you agree with Jonathan and Carol it would seem 0207 862 is the number we heard from Carol before the break she should will I know you've been chomping at the bit ever since she does William have to apologize to Harry but firstly, I think it's really important to say there's so much speculation around what is Everything. going on. Do you know what I mean? Everything. And so you think they said this, they say that. And I, I'm always really intrigued by that. But it's five letters, isn't it? One word, sorry. Um, and we've all got family members, whether we want to talk about them or not, that actually, even if they said sorry, it wouldn't make any difference. What's Will's got to the individual, for? The, the individuals, no matter how much you love them or not, they're still family. And I think what this comes down for me, and I've said this many times that I've been here, Storm, and you know that, that fundamentally, Princess Diana is still in all of our hearts. She's in mine, for sure. <clears throat> and as a mother, I look at my daughter, she's an only child, but I should I have another one. I'd want them at some point to, to bring that rift, you know, to break the rift and to come together. And I think for all the nation, just to see two brothers. This isn't about the royal family. Okay, two okay so why, to come why wouldn't... That's the first point, but if I can make my second no, but, but, point... No, but to, to, before you move on from your first point, well, it's not Will's that's got to make the apology. Harry's got to make the apology. He's the one that's trusted I'm coming family. To that. He's my the one that's point. trashed them as racist my on the world stage. My second point is going to be this. If we really are going to come up against two siblings and who should apologise and not... Prince William at some point is going to be the king of this country. Is he or is he not? Yes. We talk about the fact that uh, the royal family over the decades, if not centuries, have set an example to how we should all be. So isn't this also about him perhaps putting ego aside and leading, by, exa ego. And leading by example? Okay, but either okay. as an older is brother or point? soon to Hold be king. Come on, is you've had a long say now. I want to come back to this. Hold on, I've got a question. Yeah, is there any on, point in apologising when you're not apologising for anything in particular, you're just doing doing it to try and make well, it well, 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 What we do you think he should apologise for? Firstly, we don't know what, what exactly Harry... Well, we know from his books, but we don't know what uh, William may or may not want You're to You're speculating. For. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole well, thing is around speculation. Because what we have secondly, of what Harry said... And now, come on, this is not fair. You're just being allowed to go on and... and no, and I'm not being allowed to go on. I'm well, genuinely let me saying that you as an older, older person. Let me tackle you on some Sylvie. of what you were saying. Sometimes you lead by example. It's five letters. Will's has got nothing to apologise for at all. He hasn't done anything. And he will will never apologise to Harry, even if he had done something. Well, you don't know that. Okay. Let me finish. You just had a big long say. <laughs> because Wait, can because I Harry, to it's not speculation that Harry trashed his wife, who was now very sick, and the idea yeah. that Wills yeah. should apologise to Harry now is nonsensical. And that's the third point I want to make, it, just if we can. Well, you know I've points. told you this off air. It's an vitally important point, is cancer affects so many people in so many different ways, and the immediate family two members of the immediate family being affected by so that. So tell me something. Sometimes okay. that can Hold bring, on, that finish. can 
you know, as devastating as it is, it can be life defining. It can also be an opportunity to bring families together. In okay, which nice. case, so in, in which, which case, case, I think a lot in, of people want case, to see why that. Why has here. Harry not seen his father since the diagnosis in February? He saw him for half an hour in February. He was in. Oh, his so family. he hasn't he's seen him, but he has. Let, let me. Fa okay, I just said you. Uh, no, I'm you're, you're just very talking. Limited time well, this okay, but that's not fair to not let me come back. So the bottom line is, he came to see him for half an hour in February when he was diagnosed. He was in this country in May. He didn't bother to go and see him. I think his dad had time to see him at that time. Oh, please, he that's, did. Well, no, no, he that was him. what was said. That's because Harry announced the day before he was coming. There was no time. Okay. The, the king had a point. There might be security But he could, have come, he could have come back at any point since then and seen his father, okay. and he hasn't. Let's go to the phones. Uh, Broderick from London, what do you think about this? The panel are very passionate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, I've heard it, and... Uh, I think they've sol solved it between themselves. Oh, right, because I didn't, oh, wait, I didn't hear a solution. Oh, oh, we have it. it. <laughs> but um, I've got an older brother, and we always, always say sorry. Three months down the line, we're back at each other's throats. <laughs> then we don't speak to each other for another nine months. That sounds That's miserable, miserable. Broderick. Broderick. Why not just cut you, it out, don't apologise and never see them again? Has your brother embarrassed you on the world stage? Has he ever branded you publicly as a racist? Has he ever insulted well, your wife? No, Harry, because if he had done all of those things, you might That's not incorrect. have to. Come on. Let's 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 talking. You're yeah. 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 talking over each other, and so I can't... I was I can't. talking. She's it, talking. It's up. happening in both ways. Yes. Broderick, thank you very much for yeah. your call. Catherine from Merseyside, what do you think? Who should apologise to who? Should William apologise to Harry? He is the older brother, isn't he? No, I don't agree with you. I think Will doesn't need to apologise to Harry. I think Harry's behaviour over the last couple of years has been disgusting. Um, Will has done nothing wrong. Harry is the one who ran away with his wife, Megan. Um, I don't think Will should be saying anything to Harry and certainly not saying sorry to him. So, but hold on. As far as Harry's concerned, his brother physically assaulted him, it called his wife it, names and was leaking things to the press or his, his, his press people were leaking things to the press. If those things are true, Catherine, maybe William does owe Harry an apology. I think brothers do fight and I think allegations do get made in families. But I think printing a book called The Spur, Harry didn't need to do that. Um, we've now found out that him and Meghan have told very a lot of lies that they needn't have said. Um, like no, I don't think. Well, first of all, they got married four days before they got married. Okay, but that could have been a ceremony that was more important than Meghan. There's there's some technicalities where you can say something was a lie when it wasn't necessary. You don't know what lies have been told. Exactly. No, but listen, please let me make this I, point. I the royal you. family have I, never come back to, to have a go at it. So we say that Will's assaulted Harry. We don't know what Harry's done to Will's because Will's has never said. He has not come out and spilled family secrets, and that's the bottom mm. line here. The, in fact, Harry is very lucky the royal family didn't hit back. They never have. They turned the other cheek and looked the other way. The whole time he was trashing on them. Okay. So, so we don't know what he did to them. Catherine, thank you very much for your call. Katie from Yorkshire, what's your thoughts? Yeah, hello, good morning. Um, I have to say, I do worry sometimes that I actually agree a lot with Carol. No, <laughs> worry don't worry about it, Katie. Time. You're on the side, right? right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not particularly a royalist, but he, he, the, Harry and Meghan, I think their the behaviour towards our royal family has been appalling. I think they've taken all the best bits, the wedding, the tiaras, the money. Then they had, she had no intentions of going around the crowd shaking hands with whoever, oh. they went away, they didn't want anything mm. to do with us, and then they've come, an now he wants to come back. And I think how all, all William has done is stuck yep. by the family, stuck by his father, and been a, a, a pride to this country. And I don't see any reason at all why he should apologise. We so, don't need Harry, we don't I've, need I've, Andrew. I've waited my turn, I'm going to come in and say, fundamentally, rather Sorry. than bringing wives in, this comes down to two siblings and we've had such a good news story in the last week around Oasis and the two brothers getting back together. You never know what is possible. Oh, and please. there's a lot of power in saying, <laughs> please. sorry. Okay. Oasis have Katie. got together for money, not because they well, love each other. Well, Thank you very we much. Never saw that.